So here we are, it's Buck CC, and we have Real Madrid again, but this time it is in the quarterfinals of the Champions League, and we bring you fast forwarded right into the second leg. Now, in the first leg, we came away with a three or five three defeat. Let's have a little quick, quick little look here. Five three. They took the lead 2-0, then we came back with three goals of our own. So we were leading 3-2 at half time, only for Real Madrid to score three in return in the second half and finish the game 5-3. Which, to be honest, away from home, 5-3 with Real Madrid, that is just kind of what we, uh, what we have to play with. So now it is the second leg. Now Real Madrid are the holders of the Champions League and the fact that we in our first attempt of being in the Champions League, qualified from the, the group and have now knocked out Inter Milan in the round beforehand and now are in the quarterfinals. I mean, there are some big hitters in here. Man United, Barcelona, Juventus, Valencia, Atletico Madrid and Tottenham, although Tottenham in this game are pretty good. And then little old Buck CC. We're not even playing at our own ground. We are loaning the MK Dons Stadium. So anyway, let's go and have a little look in here. Let's look at our team. In fact, let's go to the schedule. We had a great march. Uh, beat Man City 6-1. 6-1, that is incredible. And then Newcastle 2-1. That's that little draw, 1-1, that kind of knocked out Inter Milan. West Ham sneaked a 1-0 away win. Nottingham Forest sneaked a 2-0 away win. Beat Stoke 1-0. I mean, look, clean sheets galore in those last three. And then we get pumped by Real Madrid 5-3. And then, disappointingly, we lose away to Wolves 2-1. Um, but they scored a 91st minute and 91st minute winner, so there you go. The next four games do not look pretty for us. We've got Real Madrid, then Chelsea, then Spurs, then Man United. So let's have a look, little look at the Premier League and kind of where we are. Look at us. We're only top. 33 games played, six points ahead of everybody else. And with, what, five games to go, could we win our first ever Premier League title? I don't know. Out of all of the players, Borja Sanz is at the top of the assist list, but nobody else really is knocking around. If we go into our tactics, here we go. Let's look at Papa, big Papa. Here he is, 21 goals in 29 appearances. He's got an average rating overall of 7.2, which is okay. Outside of that, the best players okay, that have got more than one appearance is Borja Sanz. He really has stepped up this year. 12 goals in 41 appearances, 15 assists. He's got an average rating of 7.21. And as you can see here, he has matured from his performances in the first, first time, like first season with us. Six goals in 18 appearances, then five in 23 with a 6.91. Last year, 11 appearances, 7 goals from 36 league appearances. And this year, he's got 9, 14 appearances and then 9 Man of the Match appearance, uh, nine man of the match awards as well. So he's really come on in his game. But enough of that. Let's get into the Champions League quarterfinal. Here's our team. Abel Gonzalez in goal. Back four of Kavanaugh, Cisse, Dominici and Groza. Rosa will go out on the right because Manzanara is kind of not really fit. Borja Sanz on the left. Espandola and Kirkland in the middle. And Cabastani, who's out there. Let's have a little look at Cabastani. He's having a really good season for me personally. I really like that he's on that left hand, on that, on that right hand side as a left footer. He does cut in. And even though we don't play him with that kind of cutting in, he still scores most of his goals with his left foot. Big Papa goes as the complete forward and then Koenig as the advanced forward. Although, I mean, look at that pace and acceleration. We really should be playing him as an, a, as an advanced forward. And he's got good off the ball, right? 17, so that means he makes those real tidy runs off the ball. So let's go into the team selection, move on into our Champions League quarterfinal, second leg, Real Madrid, bring it on, let's go. All right, we own Madrid after that happens in the first leg. So, all right, okay, let's let's use the whole revenge kind of team talk. There's that 4-4-2 that we have used since level 10, making our way to the Premier. Yeah, I say it all the time. 
and we are playing Real Madrid who have got a 4-2-3-1 with Gamba up front. There you go, the Champions League music is playing, playing at the home of MK Dons. And here we go, first couple of minutes and Buxy C have the first highlight, playing it around the back. Dominici into Kirkland. Kirkland ball over the top and Koenig is not going to get that. So that means the Real Madrid goalkeeper punts it. Groza heads into Cavastani, into Kirkland, into Espendola. The DLP plays it wide into Borja Sands. Get down to, the, get down to that byline. Crosses it in. Big Papa. He gets one. Fox in the box. And the score on aggregate is now 5-4 to Real Madrid. And that is a great start for us. Two minutes into the game. 1-0 to Buck CC. And Big Papa comes up with big things in the six-yard box. So far, 20 minutes in. Cabastani has got a knock. Groza has got a knock. This is not good. Groza with a pull groin. We're going to keep him on until half time. Let's see if we can get him until, like, literally he has got no groin left. Hey, see, that's Groza right there. We can't take that off. Borja Sands into Espendola, into Big Papa. Puts it out onto the left-hand side. The marauding fullback of Kavanaugh. And he smashes it straight at the Real Madrid goalkeeper. Corner, Buck CC. Borja Sands whips it in. Headed clear. And now Madrid are on the break. Groza's hamstring cannot... Oh, Groza's hamstring there. Or is it his groin? Probably both now. Free kick, Real Madrid, edge of the 18-yard box. Oh, is it the... You sneaky, sneaky... It's hit the crossbar, hit the post, and it's gone in. And Madrid have scored an equaliser, but it puts them 6-4 up on aggregate as we probably make half-time in the next five minutes. Groza is staying on until half-time. OK. Well, let's do that. Let's just basically say that you weren't bad think we can still improve. The boys look inspired, but we need to make a couple of changes here. Groza. Do we put an unfit Jesus Manzanara on? Yes, we do. What else can we do here? Koenig is not... He says he's playing well, but not really that sure. Kirkland on a 6.5. That is not good. But we don't really have too many other options. Let's get stuck in. See how the first 15 minutes go. Let's give him a big shout. Encourage. Come on, boys. There you go. They love it. They love it. Coming up. Oh, Real Madrid with the highlight. Playing it around in the centre of midfield. Madrid showing their absolute class. And it's into Gamba, the sole forward. And he's only... Oof, he nearly took on everybody, didn't he? Smashes it straight at our goalkeeper. And you'd have to do a bit better than that to beat Abel Gonzalez. Another save by Abel Gonzalez there from the corner. And not much is going on here. Okay, time to change this tactic. I think Cabastani's day is done. We're going to bring on Felix Arbadola. And do we play all of our cards right now? I wanted to change it. You know what? Koenig is coming off. I'm not happy with a 6.6. .6. And he, we're going to bring on the young Lucas Botora and we're going to play him right in there as the advanced, I guess, as the advanced playmaker and put him on attack mode. I would say let's get him further forward. Roam from the positions. Okay. Off you go, Botora. You little wonder kid, you. Let's see what you can do for us. 20 minutes to go. And although we're on positive, let's mush it up to attacking and tell the boys to demand more. We need miracles right now. We need two goals in the final 10 minutes. I don't think we're, we're not even going to get a highlight, are we? Oh, it's a highlight to Real Madrid. That's not what we need. Can they break through the press? I think they can. It's Real Madrid. But oh no, we've won it back. Kavanagh into Cisse. Into Borja Sands, cutting inside, going nowhere, giving the ball over. And Real Madrid back on the break, whips it out to Alvarado. 
And that's an easy save for Gonzalez again. Come on, the boys. Let's go all out. Very attacking. Can we get anything out of this? Big throw from Kavanaugh into Sands, into Espendola. <gasps> Felix Arbadola, get that ball, sunshine. Okay. 93rd minute, and I don't know if that's going to be enough, and it's not. And Buck CC go crashing out of the Champions League in the quarterfinal stages. Well, we gave it a good go. On the night, we beat Real Madrid 2-1 at home in front of a big crowd at the MK Don Stadium. But it wasn't enough. We've been knocked out 6-5 over aggregate to the Champions League champions from last season. Let's see if we can crack on and win the Premier League. It is Buck CC. We're going level 10 to the Prem. And thank you so much for watching. Oh, 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 oh,